All right, so since we can't really go out and do touristy things, one thing we are able to do is stay home and eat snacks. So that's a plus. Would you not? So one thing that is really cool about living in Indonesia is you can see all of the different types of snacks that exist here but don't exist in the U.S. There are certain things that we have in the U.S. that we also have here in Indonesia and we want to show you those things because some of them are really random. There are also things that are kind of similar to the U.S. but different, different in some way. Today we will be talking about the things that you know and the things that you don't. Snack edition. So first up, let's talk about drinks. Nathan, do you want to tell them about something they know? Mm -hmm. So this is Elijah, and you know him. Uh, this is... He wants to make sure you know him. If you haven't seen the Elijah video, you can go watch it after this. This is uh, a and some root beer. It's, uh, yeah, uh, really the same stuff. Just has some Indonesian words on it instead of English words. This, you don't know. This is another popular drink here. It's called Te Tarik, which literally means pooled tea. I don't... <laughs> we're going to take care of this cat. One second. And we're back. Okay. It's a tea that is milky. I don't know how else to describe it. That's what it looks like. Just milky tea. So let's try A&W and Tatarik all at once. And that, and we'll describe it to you. Okay. The Tatarik is sweet. It has a little bit of a different flavor from regular black tea, but it's also milky and sweet. I'd say it's like a deeper flavor. That's some A&W root beer. Does it taste the same? Yeah. Oh, okay. That, cool. That's some A&W root beer. Okay. I'll take that. All right. Next, let's talk about savory snacks. Also, if we can find Amazon links to uh, these items, we will put them down in the description if we can find them. We may not be able to find them, uh, but if we can find them, uh, we'll have links in the description for you. That way you can try them with them. First, something you know. Lay's potato chips. They exist here. In fact, this flavor, sour cream and onion, also exist here. But there are some flavors that we have here that you don't have in the U.S. Like, you probably don't have seaweed flavor for your Lay's. Okay, you don't have it. <laughs> and uh, you don't, you also do not have salmon teriyaki. So, yeah. So, let's try some of these. Actually, I have not tried, I have tried the seaweed one. I have not tried the sour cream and onion here or the salmon teriyaki. So, the sour cream and onion tastes exactly the same as it does in the States. That's a big one. I just ate a big one. Do you want the big one? This is a medium sized one, sorry. That's okay. Oh. The salmon teriyaki honestly just tastes like a barbecue chip with extra fishiness to it. <laughs> it's good. I don't mind it. I like it. As for the seaweed, to be honest, it's a little sweeter than a normal Lay's chip, but I don't hate it. These actually are quite common. In fact, I put this in my mouth and I was like, that is a very familiar taste. Mm -hmm. uh, the, we actually get these quite a bit as our snack, so. But there's a lot of seaweed flavored things here in Indonesia. All right, so. These, however, are not for sale in America. They are rainbow mentos and they have different flavors. I know there's fruity Mentos available in the States, but these have more fruit flavors. There's 
strawberry, melon, orange, grape, lemon, lime, I think, or just lime, raspberry, and lemon. So, there you go. I want to see if I can try the raspberry because that's not available. That is one flavor that's not available in America. Okay, raspberry. It does taste like raspberry. Another thing that we have in, in Indonesia here is a full roll of grape flavored Mentos, which I don't remember seeing in America. We don't have them here today, but they do exist. Something you may be familiar with, aka you are familiar with, are Cheetos. Cheetos in Indonesia are different. So in Indonesia, Cheetos are roasted corn flavor. Not cheese flavored. Although, I think the cheese puffs, like the Cheeto puffs, they do have those in cheese flavored. But I've never seen regular cheese Cheetos before. It's only the sweet roasted corn flavor. Corn flavored chips. Have you ever had that before? It's not very normal for Americans. Another snack that is not normal for Americans is cassava chips. They're just like potato chips, it looks like, but... Cassava is a different root, similar to a potato, but different texture, I think. So let's try these. These are barbecue flavor. They're just more closed textured, like they're crunchier. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. Tastes like roasted corn. It literally tastes like you opened a can of corn, somehow made it crunchy, and then put it in your mouth. Isn't that a good description? Mm -hmm. You think it's not enjoyable, but it actually is. <laughs> I like it. We get these from time to time too. One thing you obviously know about are Oreos and they are about, they look, they look the same here, the same packaging, everything. Actually, Oreo desserts are very popular here, like Oreo cakes, Oreo ice cream, Oreo milkshakes. Oreos are very popular here. But one thing that you probably have never seen before is this. Is matcha paki. I actually have had this in America before, but uh, it has been brought to me by people who have traveled and came back. And I think you can Oreo. find this at Asian stores. You can find paki at Asian stores, but it's not normal to find in other places. It's basically just a stick, like a little tiny slim biscuit stick that's dipped in matcha in this case. But they have chocolate ones, they have strawberry ones, they have, I saw a birthday cake one. Mm. Yeah. We do have Kit Kats here. We have the normal regular chocolate Kit Kat, but we also have green tea Kit Kats. So that's interesting. Mm. It was upside down. Oh. Green tea Kit Kats. <laughs> One, another thing we also have... Is Snickers. You know Snickers. Mm -hmm. We have green tea Pocky, green tea Kit Kat. Green tea is a very popular flavor here. Let's hope we don't get a stomachache from eating all this. It's weird. Does it have like a fishiness flavor to you? I don't know if I'm a fan of the green tea Kit Kats. I like green tea flavored things, but there's something about that. It's got like, something tastes fishy in it to me. I don't know why. Is it seaweed and I just misread it? No, it's, it's green tea Kit Kat. I don't know. Anyway, another drink we have here is called- I would say this is Milo. No, you said Milo. I call it Milo. <laughs> I call it Milo. I call it whatever I think of at the moment because I really have no idea. I've heard both, but my Asian friends call it Milo, so do with it what you will. You can get it in a big like tin or you can get it in these little packets. What, what is it? Oh, it's basically a chocolate malt drink, like hot chocolate, but I think it's a little less milky than hot chocolate. Yeah, I think it's less milky than hot chocolate. Yeah, it tastes like hot chocolate to me. Just slightly less sweet and slightly less milky. It's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Milo is another very popular flavor for things here. 
they will add Milo to a lot of drinks and they've made candy bars out of it and cookies and cakes. Yeah, it's a popular way to flavor things. So with that, those are all the snacks we wanted to show you today. Um, it was really funny going to the grocery store and getting all this junk food. I was slightly embarrassed. So this was the first episode that we've done of comparing snacks. We may do another one because there are a lot of interesting snacks here. So we're hopeful that you'll be able to see another one of these. Similar, but with different snacks or different foods. We want to continue this like what you know and what you don't series with all kinds of different things. So we hope you've enjoyed it and go and find some of those snacks on Amazon if you're interested. We'll try to put some links to some of them in our description box. So it's probably easier to check there first. And if you can't find it there, maybe try your local Asian market or something. You may find some of these things there. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Bye. Okay.